let's begin. We're, we're, we're going to start off with a uh, statement by the Air Force uh, denying that anything happened at Roswell. We've got two reversals on this. So let's run this one first. Here we go with the forwards. Let me read my prepared statement, and then we will we'll roll a short video that Captain McAndrew will talk about. And when he talks about the video, he says in a verse, we faked it. We faked it. <laughs> we faked it. And the video claimed that they were uh, test dummies that people had seen, and they weren't alien bodies. So, uh, so that sort of a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward reversal. They've right. f- they've faked it. I don't know how else you could interpret that one. And uh, well, there's no other way to do it. And I I remember when that story came out, and you could almost hear the laughter of of people who have been following Roswell for a long, long time. This was one of the most egregious lies the Air Force ever charged one of its own to deliver to the public media, that the actual oh, issue yeah, was uh, a crash dummy. I mean, this it was so absurd and asinine, it was embarrassing. That's how bad it was. Oh, it really was. Yeah, it, it, it was. It was shocking. And here we have another reversal from that same uh, from that same interview. I'm sorry, I just don't have any information for that. All I know is what the Air Force did, and that if you, you overlay much of their claims and you look at the Air Force scientific research, you can see it's obvious that what we're talking about at Roswell. And here he says, share, share a secret with NASA. 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 So clearly, yes, something is uh, there, and, and that reversal occurs right where he says the Air Force is scientific research. So uh, uh, clearly, uh, clearly uh, something was shared with NASA. So. Well, uh, obvious intrigue, right. obvious uh, conspiracy, obvious lies again. So it's it's the lie of omission. It's what they're not telling us that is crucial. Yeah, absolutely correct. Now we're moving on to chat name of uh, Colonel Philip Corso, who's uh, since deceased. And uh, he came out and wrote a book called The Day After Roswell, where he claimed he had seen alien bodies from Roswell. So that's just, uh, here he says, for as I saw a body in Fort Riley, Kansas. I saw a body at Fort Riley, Kansas. But I put that out of my mind until I co- could corroborate the information. And here he says, I looked at it. I looked at it. I looked at it. So that's a congruent reversal. He's uh, telling us the truth when he says, I saw an alien body. What's really interesting about that, and is so often the case with reversals, is his tone of voice in reverse. He's very professional. He's matter of fact. He's reporting exactly Uh what happened like like a military officer might. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, right. Exactly right. And here he is again. Uh saying, you know, there was no doubt this was a body and not a, a test dummy. There was no question in my mind what it was. I know the difference between a body like that that, that I saw there and a dummy. <laughs> and here he says, they got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. Meaning, go. meaning, uh, mean, they, got, yeah, they got it meaning the body, the dead body. They got it meaning the body, yeah. Yeah, so he's telling a true story. And point of fact, all his reversals, uh, that he had in this whole interview uh, were uh, were very congruent reversals. So there you go. Interesting man, uh, right. uh, Philip Corso. He was uh, a World War II uh, figure uh, who has, uh-huh. uh, if you look him up, Philip Corso had quite a distinguished career, and people were rather shocked when he put this book out because why would a man at the near the in the twilight years of his life? want to risk a truly storied career in service to his country, a career military officer who served again through World War II and after World War II. So uh, it was a very interesting issue. Yes, indeed. All right, now we're going to look at some reversals on Michael Malin, who's the official photographer for the Mars Global Explorer. And... uh, Many people have leveled uh, charges at Michael Malin that he's been altering pictures and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So uh, let's see what the reversals have to say. And uh, here we have the first one. This is a very long reversal, this one. It's about eight words or no, nine, ten words, which is very unusual. Let's run it forward first. Um, But I can't be any more specific than that, any more than you could, you know, 
predict what the stock market's going to be in, in three years. And here he says, between the dome in the land, they give us the storm we need. Very long reversal, very unusual to find it this long. Between the dome and the land, they give us the storm we need. Here we go. Between the dome and the land, they give us the storm we need. There it is. Between the dome and the land, they give us the storm we need. And once more. Between the dome and the land, they give us the storm we need. Do you hear that one there, Jeff? I do. That is that is a long yeah. one. Yeah. Well, interesting. Okay, so I've got several questions about this. What is the dome in the land that he's talking about? Okay, and uh, the storm, what is a storm, and, and why does he need a storm? Now, some people claim, I remember when these reversals came down, that there was a, a series of storms over, over I, I think it was the Sidonia region, I'm not too sure exactly when, but which, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, blanked out some of the, uh, some of the photographs. So uh, I think, uh, I think uh, that's what he's referring to. Here we have another one. You know, to their to their concern and they're upset that it's not going to go. All I can say is, geez, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's you know, that's the reality of the thing. And here it says, "Hear the lie. You're with satellite seven. You know why you're with satellite seven. You know why you're with satellite seven. And again, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know why you're with satellite seven. Right. Now, you, can you hear that one, Jeff? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Satellite Seven. I actually uh, looked it up, and the, it was the seventh mission to Mars was the uh, was the Pathfinder, which carried the little rover in the ninety seven. Uh -huh. And uh, so, so here the lie would imply that we aren't being told the whole truth about the uh, rover mission. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. 